Hello YouTube, this is Advanced PS Tuts, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on um, grunge blur and motion blur. So right here we have a grunge blur. It kind of gives a nice background to the image, and it's just pretty cool looking if you want to do an entire grungy wallpaper. And then there's motion blur to show the movement, since it's flash, you know. It looks pretty sick. All right, so let's delete these two layers and then hold Alt and go down to the middle, and there should be a black arrow and a white arrow that will duplicate your layer. All right, <clears throat> all right, so let's do our motion blur first. You're gonna do the 11 brush, it's a default brush, everybody should have it, and click your blur, have your strength at 50, and then make your brush pretty big, say around 50, and just go around your project, and just drag in the movement and the way that you think he's moving, but in this one it's pretty clear which way he's moving so I'm gonna do the blur in the opposite way that he's moving so it looks pretty sick and uh, it's pretty popular right now a lot of people are doing it but it's pretty overused right now therefore I don't do it that often um, and also guys if you guys do uh, have any drawings or suggestions um, that I should do next because I just did Prince of Persia I would love to do another drawing I might do one for another competition I don't know but uh, the next one I make I don't want it to be huge I want it to be small and I want to do a speed art on it so if you have an idea and you find a sketch just send me a message say look up this do this as your next one and if you also have any other tutorials just please just send me a message because uh, I mean I can't think of every single tutorial to do I need some of you guys help so um, I got this image idea because from one of my friends Haynes Designs he's a pretty good graphics designer his link will be in the description so there's pretty much the blur motion motion blur and then you Take the opacity and bring it down a little. I'd say 70 to 60 percent. That's pretty much good. But I'll do 70 percent right now. All right. So it's not that hard. It's just an easy uh, little blur. So now let's make a new layer. I'm going to hide the top layer by hitting this I. Alright, so we go to our brush and we gotta, we're going to say uh, put it on the 17 brush. Alright? Then, we're going to go to our brush options by hitting this little tab right here, right to the right of your brush selection. You're going to click scattering and then scatter. Bring it up to about 168, 170, and then you're gonna go to shape dynamics, size jitter, now keep that the same, angle jitter, put that about 25, that's about it. So now I'm gonna make my brush a little bigger, and there's your grunge. Just hold and go around your project, getting every single spot. And almost done. You're probably like, that looks funky right now, because it kind of does. Um, there's your grunge background. You can pretty much keep that 100%, because it's just for background imaging. You can change the opacity a little, but I kind of like to stay at 100%. And then, also, if you want to do some other blur, I'll 
to add onto blur I sometimes go to filter blur radial blur and then click zoom uh, amount probably 25 to 30 percent click OK and then it leaves a nice clean cleaner uh, blur going like I don't know how to call that but it just all goes around the body from that blur so it's all just going outside of it instead of just being all grungy it's more of a cleaner blur if you want to do uh, a cleaner image say I don't know yeah I don't know what I was gonna say so um, thank you guys for watching if you like the tutorial please uh, comment rate and subscribe if you also have any other tutorial ideas and other project sketches for me to do just please send me a message or comment below thank you guys for watching see you guys